it used to be that you could just watch a movie and be done with the movie and know it was great. Like The Matrix, you watched The Matrix and got done, it was like, oh, the acting was terrible, but he could stare down a bullet and learn things fast, and the black guy's glasses stayed on, and I don't know how. <laughs> Cinema has changed forever. <laughs> but now we, we live in a world of media convergence, where, and it started with The Matrix films, they spread it out into a series, and it's not just the series, you have the direct-to-DVD animated stuff and the video games. You have to acquire and get through all this stuff to get the full story. And it's just homework. It's just dumb homework. But in The Matrix, uh, between the second and third movie, a game came out, uh, and you know how when you watch The Matrix, you were like, oh my god, I would love to be able to play as Neo. He has all those superpowers, it's so cool. And the game's like, we hear ya, so here's 10 hours of playing as Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> You know how she has no superpowers? You're gonna die a lot. Welcome to the Matrix. Uh, by the way, she shares my birthday. Happy 41 years later to you. Um, I'm sorry I'm attacking the entire Will Smith family tonight. Um, so you play the game as Jada Pinkett Smith and you're sort of like, ah, oh, this is whatever. And at one point about halfway through, you walk into a room and you start fighting vampires. No forewarning, there's just some vampires there and uh, they try to explain how the Merovingian virus has the thing. Doesn't matter, they put vampires in the Matrix. Holy shit, that's cool. That is, there's, you won't see anything that cool. There'll never be a James Von, Bond versus Predator. They'll, they'll never be like an NFL football game with machine guns. They'll never be Batman with a lightsaber. But there was vampires in the Matrix. The problem with this being that they said this was setting up stuff for the third movie. So if you didn't do all the extraneous bullshit and you just watched the three Matrix movies, you got done, you're like, that was terrible. He was Jesus the whole time? I didn't understand. But if you played the game and watched the DVD, you were, like me, that one person in the theater, alone, like a lunatic, screaming, WHERE WERE THE VAMPIRES?! <laughs> I love that because, uh, because there were no vampires in the movie, it shows that the Wachowski uh, siblings didn't have that as part of their overall idea. That, that idea came from some kid sitting at a conference table who threw out, I don't know, vampires, and no one said no, and then it was just real. And I've been in that position because when I first got to LA, I wrote for a reality show, and I'll pause while your brain resets uh, if that's not something that you previously knew to be possible. And while sitting there, we had to write our season finale episode. We needed a big cliffhanger, and I threw out there something too. It wasn't vampires, but it was close. I said, Hey, what if we killed off a character? <laughs> and no one said anything for like five minutes. And just looking around a table of executives all in their head like, what would I have to do to murder a teenager for ratings? 